What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at all my Michelangelo action figures. And I know this isn't Michelangelo, but I did forget to show this in all of my Raphael figures. This is Cadet Raphael, so yeah, I kind of forgot to um, uh, show this guy off. So yeah, so let's go and get to the first guy. So um, before you get into it, yes. Um, well, I did get a new tripod, so a little new angle, which I, I do like it a lot. It's like a it go up to 62 inches, and it's really nice. So yeah, it's really cool. So yeah, so first off would be the comics. I do not have any figures in the comics, but so but I do have the original 19, what like 88 um, action figure here. This is one of them. I don't know if it's a soft head or a hard head or nothing but this guy's the original michelangelo he looks a little beat up or not but yeah he's just cool so there's that guy i get him this i get him to stand up and i just knocked over an, a michelangelo unfortunately and this guy does not want to stand for me there you go hey okay he's standing actually and then we ha we do ha next up we have a reissue of the same exact figure i don't know when i think like 2020 or something 2022 somewhere around there i don't know the reissue i don't really like this guy that much i just don't like the way the plastic feels and, and there's belts all like not even matched up or anything and he is just meh and then we have this michael and mikey um some kind of racer mikey he looks really really cool i, I do like him um this helmet is removable try and take it off here and Trying to take it off the kit. There we go. Um, he's, he's a little dirty, but you know his head sculpt is very similar to that one, I'd say. Um, yeah, he looks pretty cool. He has this little jumpsuit on, and he does have like orange markings everywhere. It looks pretty cool. It looks like a bird or fire or something like a firebird, um, like the car maybe. I don't know. Um, let's try and get this guy to stand. Get this guy out the way. Yeah, these guys are really hard to stand, unfortunately. <clears throat> And then for the last, last for the show would be Farmer Mikey, or Farmer Mike, I guess. Um, yeah, he, look, he looks pretty cool. He looks like a little farmer. He's a little farmer hat, nice um, face sculpt there. Um, yeah, he's a little farmer, you know, nothing much going on. He has a little towel hanging out of him, but yeah, that's all the Mikeys, man. So yeah, that's all for the show. Let's go ahead and move on to the 1990s movie. So here is the 1990s movie NECA Michelangelo. He is really, really cool. I really do like this face sculpt. Like, it just looks so freaking good. I mean, just like I said with all these NECA turtles, man, they are on point. Unfortunately, um, this like this is wire, man, and it and these it just pulled like off of the nunchuck. Like it, it just came off the nunchuck. So he only has one nunchuck. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to pose him that with nunchucks low key so i just kind of have him chilling like this which you know he looks really nice and yeah he's really cool i like him so let's so next up would be the next mutation but um i don't have any for the next next mutation and then so it'd be 2003 so let's get on to that so here is the standard 2003 michelangelo from all the way back from 2003 you know he's cool he's missing his belt that's basically all he's missing his belt and his nunchucks. And then, yeah, he looks he looks pretty good other than that, you know. Um, but, yeah, there's that guy. And then we have the re 2023 reissue, which I did a review on, which these guys look really, really, really awesome. I really do like him. So, yeah, man, they, I really do like them. But that's I have one more 2003 turtle, and it, it and I'll go ahead and show you what that is right now. So here is the Mac Wrecker Michelangelo. This guy looks really cool. You can see the figure inside. We can pull that up and get a closer shot of the figure. And he looks really, really nice. Pretty um, similar to the OG um, one, like the standard one. And then these leg pieces open as well. And yeah, he does have these cool rubbery nunchucks, which um, do work. Um, well, I don't actually, oh yeah, they have this. Little lever right here, and you can push them and spin them to get that cool spinny action. Oh, you gotta push it in to spin it, I think. Oh no, you don't. Actually, my I don't know. It's like really stuck. Yeah, you don't really you don't have to push it. But yeah, these are just flimsy rubber rubbery pieces. 
And he does have these missiles that shoot by uh, twisting it, this, um, or pushing this right here. So just like this. And now I gotta pick those up. All right, there we go. And yeah, I just really like the orange and like light blues. I think it's like teal more than anything. There's a nice M right here as well. And these tires and then a rubber tire as well. This guy is motorized. So yeah, he's really, really cool. So that's all for um, 2003. Next up, technically next up or chronologically would be 2007. But oh yeah, I forgot. These guys, his elbows just don't work. Like they just, they just have to be down. Like I don't know why. I got this guy brand new. It's just the age, I guess. So yeah, look at that. Just don't work. So yeah. So next up would be 2007, but I don't have any 2007 Michelangelo. So let's go ahead and move on to 2012 and Nick series. So here is the original 2012 release of Michelangelo. And fun fact, I did get this guy <clears throat> on release. I don't know what release day, but I did get him when they came out because they had like. Oh, like right before you got to the soy, se soy section right in the middle of the aisle like they had um like a whole little like cardboard little setup of all of these guys and i was debating on either getting this guy or the leonardo and lucky i got michelangelo and he's i did play with him a lot so all his joints are loose and yeah he looks really cool i really do like him he is one of my favorite he he has a lot of sentimental value to me yeah because he's just so cool and yeah, I really like him. The articulation is great. Ball joint, ball hinge, ball hinge, swivel wrist. I think. Um, I might li I might be lying, or it's more like a swivel elbow. Yeah, so that's a little. And then ball hinge, and then ball hinge knees, no ankles. So pretty good, you know, for like about eight bucks. You know, not bad. And a little another. I only have like a couple variations of the um 2012 Mikey, unfortunately. Um, this one's a little bit su superior. The Battle Shell Michelangelo. This guy looks a lot more screen accurate. The only problem I really have with these battle show turtles are just their legs. Really, they don't. They're really. Um, they're not like level, but the toes look really, really nice. A lot more accurate. The knee pads, the elbow pads, everything just looks really, really good on him. Sorry for the cut there, but yeah, this guy's really, really cool. He's really accurate and everything. Oh yeah, and obviously he's a battle show, so I am missing. Oh, this guy. I actually think I got this guy pre-owned in a Facebook lot. But, yeah, he's really cool. I really like the face sculpt on him. And then we have a little Mikey. We have Turtle Top Michelangelo looking really, really cute and awesome. I really do like him. Let's fix his shell up right there. Just like, uh, where's that Raphael? Just like this Raphael here. Oh, gosh, I can't pick him up. These guys came in a two-pack. So yeah, really cool. And then we have so that's it for like the the 2012 like main line um figures. Oh wait, actually I forgot about this guy. We have this Michelangelo. Uh, he's supposed to do like a flip or something, but I really don't know how he works at all. So yeah, he's supposed to do something. But he looks pretty cool. I, I really like the wraps and stuff on on him. Yeah, he's he's all right. He's kind of a big boy. So <clears throat> there's that. There's that guy. So now let's move on to half show heroes because I have like two of them. So I have this like the ninjas in training guy. So this is this is just like um, this Raphael here. So yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, he has his little nunchucks in him, yellow legs as well. Yeah, I just really like it's like the kendo. Um, they're like kendo kind of so Yeah, you can kind of see the size comparison of those I really like you like the face sculpt on it and then one more half show hero. I got this guy for Christmas a long time ago. It is the um, It's like talk he is he's like battery powered. He has this like little lever um, Here I'll try to show it You're supposed to go like this. I just killed couple of those guys but he's supposed to talk but his batteries are dead but the um nunchucks are really nicely painted and he is rather tall he is taller than that michelangelo there so yeah that's all my 2012 variants unfortunately i wish i had a little bit more but i unfortunately do not man so yeah but i will be getting some more in the future so yeah that's all for 2012 so technically next up would be the michael bay movies but um I don't have I don't have many Michelangelo's 
for him. But I do need to order the out of the shadows one. Or that's why I'm, I'm gonna order because I ordered the raft out of the shadows raft. But the Michelangelo is kind of expensive. I mean, you could I at least just want to get him with the nunchucks. Like I'm getting pre on. I want to get him with the nunchucks. But I can't find any with the nunchucks, and if they are, it's in packaging. It's like forty dollars. Like I'm not paying forty dollars for that Michelangelo. So yeah, let's move on to. Um, I guess next up would be Rise of the Team and Team. So here is the Wave One version of Michelangelo from Rise of the Team and Team. He's, he's a great figure. He has great articulation: ball joint in the head, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, swivel wrist. Ball hinge thighs, ball hinge knees, and ball hinge ankles. So really, really good. Here's his uh, Kusari Fundo there. Here's a lot of nice little stickers. These aren't stickers, but I guess in the, I think in the show they're stickers. And I do like his little knee pads and whatnot. And he just looks really, really good. No missing paint details there and on the arms and whatnot. But yeah, really, really nice Wave 1 re initial release. And also in Wave 1, they basically made the exact same figure here. But this is the shell hog Michelangelo. He really doesn't fit in with the, all the other shell hogs helmet wise because he just has this the only thing different is like the black straps and whatnot. Um from this guy here. Basically the only difference is the black straps. And then obviously his head's mold. But the head molds are basically like the sculpt and the face are basically the same. Just this one's a little shrunken down. But yeah, he just doesn't have the flip up visor. This one's just a stationary visor, like the goggles. But yeah, it looks pretty good. I, I do like it. Really nice. Um, no added paint details besides um the black here. Oh yeah, and you kind of notice this right here on the wrist. This is painted orange, and that's painted black. But they painted this orange one here, but they didn't paint that. So um, yeah, I just kind of noticed that. Um, but on the ankles, they did paint it. All right, let's back these guys up a little bit. <clears throat> so next up would be, now going into wave two, we have Battle Shell Michelangelo. And you can see this guy, is, his proportions are not very good. His legs are shaped weird. And at least his head sculpt is pretty good. Yeah, you know, that's always good about these guys. Head sculpt is pretty nice. And these are like um, raised, kind of. Um, you know, he's not that good. Um... His holster is even shaped differently, as you can see. It's kind of bad design. His legs are really shaped weird. There are the knee pads. They actually do look a little different. The feet are nice. I do like the feet, the way they look, at least. Standing is not the greatest for these battle show. All the battle show turtles, but the toes do look really nice. Kind of more show accurate. And then on the back, there's a shell as well. And he does have, like, the molds in the arms there. You can kind of see that for the circles that are supposed to be painted orange. But yeah, the feature is, boom, press the head, pops open. And yeah, his, I don't know if I mentioned that, but his weapon his weapon broke, unfortunately. He fell, and it broke. So, yeah. And then also got this guy in Wave 2. This is the SDCC exclusive slash... Pizza Points Rewards. I got this guy with the Pizza Points Rewards. Michelangelo, as you can see, is the exact same figure as this guy. And I guess technically this guy besides the head sculpt. But um, he has extra painted detail and his weapons um, have a nice silver on the chain. So yeah, I just really like the um, painted um, dots there on the shoulders and thighs. It just looks really good. And then also on the shell, that... It looks so good on the show. I really, really do like it. It looks really nice. And yeah, it looks really cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really nice figure. I do like it. That's my definitive um, Rise of the Team and T Michelangelo. And it's, there we go. Having trouble focusing. And I have this really weird variation. This guy came with a skateboard. Um, like a little, I don't know, it's not really motorized. Um, or it might be mono. I don't really know. I would show it, but I'm too lazy to get it. The only thing different from this, this guy's literally the exact same as the, this guy, but he has a different head sculpt. So basically like this. But that guy has a black straps. So yeah, the, the only thing different is his head sculpt. And it's, it has a little dinosaur head or something on it. A little skeleton. A little skull, I shall say. The bandana is sticking out, but, you know, his legs are kind of, yeah, that's kind of, 
one thing I always notice about these Michelangelo's, the way they built his legs, man, they're, they're just weird. Like, well, it's kind of sticking out, actually, but he just always kind of stands weird. Um, he didn't even come with any nunchucks, I don't think, but, like, all these Michelangelo's kind of just have weirdly shaped, um, legs. And, yeah, they're kind of hard to stand, in a sense, but it's, like, more the way they stand, I shall say. And then last but not least, we have wrestling Michelangelo. And this guy's really cool. As you can see, he has the long hair. And yeah, this is um, this actually is from the show. All of these aren't. Well, I guess this one and this one aren't technically from the show, but all the other three aren't. Um, but yeah, this guy's really really cool. I I do like him. The head sculpt is pretty nice. I do like the jacket, but it's just a hard plastic, and his legs are a different mold and everything. And you kind of see a shell right there on the back. Nothing much. But yeah, he's really cool. I like the uh, new little wrist wraps as well. And his um, legs, unfortunately, warped. See, this is actually all... He's not going to be able to stand because of that leg. But this is all the um, Rise of the Team and Team Michelangelo's. And they're, they're really cool. I, I do like them. I'm not missing one. I know there's, like, canceled Rise of the Team and Team. Like, they um, bug-busting... Mikey and Donnie and like the turtle tots and whatnot. I think there's probably other variations or other Yeah, other variations of the turtles probably canceled. So unfortunately, it was a pretty good line while it lasted Distribution was not the greatest. So yeah, this is all for the rise of team and T um, Let's move on to the Batman vs. team and T movie So here is the Batman vs. team and T Leonardo the neck. I'm not Leonardo. I don't know why I was thinking there Michelangelo from NECA this guy is actually really cool um i feel like the the this line of turtles from neca are feel, I, I think they're like more cheaply made they just don't feel as high quality as the movie turtles or the cartoon turtles but yeah they do look good they like look really nice and they did come with some cool accessories like he just came with like um a skateboard and that's all i kind of can remember right now i don't i, I want to get like the leonardo all like leonardo with batman donnie with Batgirl, which that one's um, more cheaper than, like, the other ones. And then, obviously, Raph and um, Robin. I think they did Shredder and that other villain. I can't remember. I've only watched the movie, like, once. It is a pretty good movie, though. But, yeah, it does look really nice. The articulation is pretty all right. You know, it's not as good as some of the other ones. Like, the shoulders only get up that high. Elbows don't really get that much either. And he, oh, yeah, he comes with different hands. And ball joint and wrist. And then the... Nunchucks look pretty good and double jointed knees and whatnot. You know, he's pretty cool. I like the M. They also did make like a bat, like a Batman Mikey variation. Yeah, it was, it's a pretty good movie. Also has his holsters right there. Yep. Okay. Not okay figures. They are good figures. They're just, I feel like NECA standards, um, they don't really live up to that standard. They do feel like a cheaper quality, I'd say. But yeah, this, he also came in a two pack with Alfred. So. I'd, I'd get the cheaper ones are Donnie and Batgirl and then Mikey and Alfred. So, yeah, pretty cool um, figure. Um, let's move on to Mutant Mayhem. So, here is the last figure in my collection. Um, Mutant Mayhem, Michelangelo. He was a little... I, I feel like he was a li he was done a little dirty in the movie. I feel like he, he wasn't much of a character. Like, Donnie kind of took his character as a jokester, which is... A little unfortunate, man. He has braces, which is cool. You can't really see him, but in the, or he doesn't have any on the figure. But in the movie, he does have braces, and he lo he looks pretty cool. I don't really like his nunchucks. I I just really don't. I I wish they were built more like the 2012 one. I don't know. I just don't like the, I just don't like the chain on it. Really, I think it's too big. <clears throat> That's what she said. But um, yeah. There's the um. Holsters or whatever the show. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's basically all of my uh Michelangelo. So let's go ahead and get like the, the outro, I guess. So here's the nice little thumbnail shot. Looks really good. So yeah, that's basically it for all of my Michelangelo um action figures. I hope you enjoyed this video. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.